Tesla has been heading closer to some momentous vehicle launches that have been pending for quite a while. Tesla Cybertruck and Tesla Roadster have been hyped since 2017 without any final release date being announced. However, should current trends continue, 2021 is going to be the best year ever for Tesla. Or maybe not. Let us find out. Welcome to another business automated video. Before we get started, make sure to subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell. That way, when we post more content like this, you will get notified. Now, let's get back to our main topic. The Model S Plaid Plus is one of the most anticipated Tesla vehicles. It has an insane accelerating ability that allows the vehicle to reach 60 miles per hour within just 1.99 seconds. Furthermore, the car can cover 0.25 miles within 9 seconds only. However, this massive lead against all other modern electric vehicles has not satisfied Tesla yet. The company is looking to upgrade its vehicle. The news is that Tesla will be releasing its Roadster by the end of 2021 or early 2022. Elon Musk mentioned that the Roadster would clearly be better than Model S Plaid Plus in terms of both performance and acceleration. However, we might expect the size of the vehicle to be reduced as compared to the Model S Plaid Plus. The Roadster is currently called Part Rocket. In his reply to Ryan McCaffrey's question, Mr. Musk stated that the Roadster would be able to fly a little. This means that the vehicle will take short hops on the road when traveling at full speed. This is made possible due to the use of the composite overwrapped pressure vessels technology currently utilized by SpaceX as a part of their Falcon 9 project. The Roadster was first announced in 2017 and has suffered delays ever since. Elon Musk claimed that the next generation vehicle would cause a massive switch from the fuel-based vehicles to electric ones. Roadster stayed in headlines throughout 2017 because of all the features Tesla boasted about. Tesla was hopeful that the vehicle would be able to cover a quarter of a mile within 8.8 .8 seconds and a speed of 60 miles per hour would be reached within 1.9 seconds. A top speed of around 250 miles per hour was predicted for the Roadster with a range of 620 miles. However, the Model S Plaid Plus is currently offering the same specs and we can expect the upcoming Roadster to only improve. Engineers have said that if Tesla continues to make progress at the same pace, they would be able to develop a next-generation Roadster that would accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour in just 1.1 seconds. That is next to time traveling. The Model S Plaid Plus is currently priced at $140,000, while it offers a complete seating package for a family. It constitutes a four-door system, whereas the Roadster is going to work on a two-door mechanism. The price for the Roadster is estimated to be around $200,000, which seems like a bargain given the qualities it possesses. The $60,000 rise in price for Tesla Model S Plaid Plus is actually quite reasonable as the Roadster will be utilizing SpaceX technology. The ability to have rocket-like features does make it stand out from all the other electric vehicles. Undoubtedly, Tesla has worked its way to the summit. The success doesn't only come through launching new products and setting a price for them. There are several factors involved which contribute to the rise of a car company. These factors include providing maintenance services for its products as well. None will be willing to purchase a car if it cannot be repaired or if there is a scarcity of service shops in the town. However, Tesla has provided its customers with various service stations throughout the nation and the maintenance cost has been kept minimal. The need to visit service stations will automatically be reduced if the company is providing the users with the already well-honed product. It is the case with Tesla. In the earnings call for the fourth quarter of 2020, Tesla confirmed that there had been a significant decrease in the number of people visiting the service stations. Jérôme Guillen, Tesla's president, stated that the best service is when the users do not need any service at all. He further added that they had been working tirelessly to improve the reliability of their vehicles. The last two years for Tesla saw the rate of customers visiting the service stations drop to one-third of what it was in 2018. Last year, during their fourth quarter earnings call, Tesla mentioned that the size of the mobile service fleet had nearly doubled. 
the mobile fleets can perform various tasks within a few minutes, including repairing the minor dents, changing the 12 volt batteries, and rotating the tires. Every vehicle in its lifespan needs service and upgrades. However, the need for repairs with electric cars is far lesser than that of the fuel-based vehicles. This is attributed to the fact that the vehicles powered by fuel are generally made from many smaller parts. The probability of damage to these smaller parts is very high. On the other hand, electric vehicles are made from a few large parts and they suffer less wear and tear, hence a reduction in the rate of needs for repairs. Mr. Guillen further answered the questions on this very topic from some institutional investors. He unveiled the fact that more than half of the visits to the service stations last less than two hours. The experienced workers deployed at these centers ensure quick repairing. Adding to it, 40% of the service calls can be handled by the mobile service fleet. However, Tesla is hopeful that the numbers will jump up and soon reach the 50% mark. Tesla is currently looking to open more service stations per week in 2021. The goal is to initiate one service center per week. If it manages to attain its goal, Tesla will have 52 new service stations by the end of 2021. A total of 11 stations were opened during the four weeks of December 2020. In North America alone, 140 stations are available to 8 Tesla users. News of Tesla's service stations opening in Puerto Rico has also been circulating for quite a while now. Elon Musk is now the richest man in the world, and this rank has been achieved due to his persistence with the company. He approves nothing but perfection and has been the chief figure for the company for 18 years now. In the recent earnings call, he was asked if he was willing to give up his role as Tesla CEO in the coming years. Elon Musk's reply to this was that no one could be a CEO for eternity. However, there are still projects requiring his attention. Musk stated that the company has only just started delivering top quality products and enjoyed only 12 months of success. He remembered how the company almost went bankrupt in 2008 and he was forced to beg for money from some investors. Tesla stabilized a little due to the funds it received at Christmas. The first Tesla's IPO was released in 2010 and the first ever Model S sedan saw the light of day in 2012. The first time Tesla entered mass market production was in 2017. During this period, Tesla delivered Model 3, and these times are regarded by Mr. Musk as production hell. The production hell eventually turned out to be fruitful for Tesla, and their current rank is pretty much due to the prominence they attained by selling the Model 3 vehicles. Talking about his role, Elon Musk further commented that the major projects of the company are yet to be completed and he has an unfinished job to do. He believes that he will be operating the company as CEO for years to come. He also admitted to the fact that his role as CEO is different from that of others. He himself takes part in the company's operations and completes his day-to-day -day tasks. Elon Musk went on saying that he is a father with a newborn baby. He would love to spend more time with his family sooner instead of following the strict routine. He needs free time to spend with his family, but the operations at Tesla are not allowing that. Musk's goal at Tesla is to accelerate sustainable energy transition. He is yet to reach this target he has set for himself, and we may expect to see him in the office for more than a decade. Given how Tesla keeps providing fresh products to the market, Elon Musk might never get to retire from his role. Make sure to check out one of the videos shown on your screen right now. You can also go to our Business Automated Channel profile to see if we have posted another video update on this topic. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you on another Business Automated video.